Hello guys, it's me Z from Wireless Solution and today we are going to work on the um, Samsung Galaxy J3 Prime from Metro PCS. As you can see that this device was factory reset so you need to put the same Google account in case to but uh, I will show you how to bypass it. You must be connected to Wi-Fi here. Go to the main screen, tap three times the home button. So the talk back will be on, <coughs> make an L shape. Go to talk back setting. Okay, press the home button three time again. So the talk will be back will be suspended. Now you can come down, go to help and feedback. Make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, about switch access, click on this screen just with one tap. Now you can see the clock sign. Click on this one, it will take you to the main screen. <coughs> to the Google Chrome so click Chrome OK accept and continue no thanks now you guys are here so what we are going to type here is you can click here as VNROM WinROM bypass so click on the first one once you click on WinROM bypass <coughs> So now we, here we are going to download two types of software. Number one will be FRP WinROM APK. Continue. <coughs> Allow. Okay. So we will wait for it unless you can see that it's being installed. To other to check that it's being installed or no, you will come see in downloads. So it will be completed. Make sure it's completed. The other we are going to install is Quick Shortcut APK Maker. So click on this one, hit OK, and open. <coughs> click on this one, the Big Installer. OK, it will take you to the setting. Now in the setting, we are going to. Sorry, I got a customer. <coughs> So now we are uh, here so what we are going to go you will first go to other security setting once you uh, go here device administration you can see find my device you will turn it off deactivate okay now go back uh, go back once again and go to the unknown source turn it on okay now you can install this one <coughs> will take a few seconds to install click open once you open you will come down okay you will go down go down unless we you can see touch wizard is your home click on the first one and try now we are here so once we are here so what we are going to do you will go to here <coughs> so here we are going to go to the setting oh, the setting is on the main screen so we will go to the setting inside the setting we can go to the apps inside the app you will come here uh, show system apps when you once you guys are here go down um, so there will be we will go to G device maintenance okay go down google account manager you will come here disable it disable go back you will go down google play services go here disable it okay both of these are disabled now you will go back once you guys go back so here we will find my files inside my files you can see the apk installer or you can click here but now you, we are going to install the frp winrom bypass go to setting unknown sources disable install so once this installation is being completed 
it will ask to put a Google account so you will put the new Gmail account that you have with the password it will take a few seconds to install this one and guys if you have any question anything uh, you can leave in the comment section I always try my best to open uh, with this one okay now you can see this one you can go back now once this is being installed close this one you will go to the <coughs> play, play store okay go to the play store now in the play store it will not tell you because we installed the new software so here you are going to put the new gmail that you guys have okay you can see i put my gmail hit next <coughs> now it will ask for the password so you will put your own password for the gmail you have yes i'm in i agree you can see now my gmail is inside here so what we can do you will go back go to the second say, setting again go to apps when you guys go to apps you will disable apps show show system apps so here you can see this that i disable google account enable it back go back google play services enable it back go back now both of these are enabled you will just res power reset the phone <coughs> now power recycling the phone will help us to uh, bypass it uh, but it's not still completed we need to go to the setting again and completely hard factory reset the phone when it's completed so <coughs> stay with the video for a few more uh, more moments when it's done and please guys if you have any question you can leave the in the comment section i try my best thank you so much for your love for your time that you guys leave a comment and it really give me a boost it really give me energy to work more hard for you guys and for those guys whom i cannot reply at the moment because i'm being busy sometime so i'm very sorry and so you guys can see that welcome screen you will hit next okay it's already been connected hit next agree it will take a few seconds to adding a few finishing touches and yeah please guys if you um, if you, you can share this video with other people so maybe you don't need it but someone else will need it and please please subscribe to my channel like the videos it give me really a boost energy that i can make another video and i really uh, want to help you guys uh, by making video that's all i can do and i'm trying my best to bring you new video new methods for new phones Mm, because it's really frustrating you have the brand new phone and sometimes you forget your gmail account and hard factory reset the phone so it really just to help you out you know give me one second someone is calling okay so on wait of a few moments you come here so you can see it's my gmail account now so you just need to hit next it will take a few more seconds
okay so we will wait for it okay so you can see I'm pressing not now because they are asking for pin or password hit next skip skip anyways finish so after a little while it will take you to the main screen and a uh, little bit of the work has been done here after this we are going to go to the main screen and then hard factory reset the phone you can see that this has been bypassed but not completely so what you can do go to the setting once you guys go to the setting go to the general management and general management go to reset factory data reset once you are here so reset the phone delete all so once it's being deleted that it's being done so all you need to do it will take you to the main screen and just skip and forward everything so you it will work like a brand new phone so, and all the information that was in the previous phone has will be erased uh, thank you so much guys for your time for your love and it's uh, and uh, if there is anything uh, i can help you if you guys need new videos like let's suppose uh, if you guys need new promotion like what kind of promotion is in metro pcs what kind of phones is coming in metro pcs and what you can get what's the benefits what's not the benefits so please leave in comment comment section so i can make video on that one if you need video on something else just let me know uh, what kind of video you guys you would like to watch thank you so much guys have a nice one and enjoy your time